believe I'm actually doing this. You must be just What is going on, all you beautiful and sexy people? This is Manufactured Opinion here, bringing you some Witcher 3, Geralt Rubs a Statue's Testicles, Part 2. And along with some of these awesome moments, there is the new Grandmaster Armor and Weapon Sets. I'm showing you my favorite in today's video. And that would be the Ursine Armor, because it has the sweet, pimp-ass fur collar. And it caters perfectly to my playstyle, which is Quen shielding, Quen turtling, Quenning all over the world. I love it. It looks badass and makes me want to rub Geralt's shoulders. Yeah. So how do you start this quest, I hear you asking? Well, it's pretty simple. It's pretty much on rails. Uh, as soon as you play maybe the first half hour, hour of the DLC... You will get contacted by a little messenger boy with a package marked Most Urgent. And he will direct you towards a Grandmaster Blacksmith. And he will tell you some interesting stories about how he came to find out where these Grandmaster diagrams are. And I don't want to spoil too much because these stories are really cool. And they added some really cool backstory to these diagrams. They could have just made it a simple treasure hunt with no real thought going into it, but this is CD Projekt Red. You know they would never do that, so uh, these treasure hunts are really cool. If you don't like the way any of the armors look, the path to get them is still really awesome. So once you learn the backstory of all the Grandmaster diagrams and how the Grandmaster Blacksmith sort of deciphered where these diagrams may or may not be, that's what starts the quest that's what starts the follow the big yellow dot for big sexy loot. And most of the people watching this video, you're probably already savvy to how this works. I'm not going to insult your intelligence by telling you you need to go here and here. I'm pretty sure 99.999% of you are smart enough to follow the yellow dot. What I did want to do to add some value is to discuss the bottlenecks uh, that at least in, in my own personal experience... I encountered during the crafting process. So if you made it this far into the video and you're sitting there looking at your sexy ass Geralt and he has 500,000 crowns in between his ass cheeks, you probably don't need to go any further in, further into the video. Maybe fast forward to the end to see what the Grandmaster Ursine armor looks like if you haven't already seen another YouTube video that shows the same thing. If you are in the same precarious situation as I am and only have enough funds maybe to make one or two of the Grandmaster sets before you continue on into the DLC, I hope this helps those people, you know what I mean? Um, and I feel like I'm probably stating the obvious for a lot of you out there, but never buy the components from the merchant unless you're absolutely desperate. And what I mean by that is if you've been playing through the game long enough and been saving your items, you probably have a lot of stuff in your inventory that can be dismantled or combined with another item in order to make what the crafting com what crafting components you need for this armor set. So I'm just going to use an example. So Chitna's shell. I mean, it wasn't a bottleneck for me, but I can see how it could be for some people. If you don't have any Chitna's shells, you're like, oh fuck, I got to go out and you know grind some enemies. Check to see if you have some cockatrice eggs or some wyvern eggs or some wyvern hide. Just check everything and see if you can't dismantle it in order to get some chitinous shell. That's used for the cured draconoid leather, which is, you know, upgraded to the infused sylvan hide, which is needed for pretty much every Grandmaster set in this DLC. Another example is the dimeridium ore. You may not have a lot of those, well, which is used for the enriched dimeridium ore, which you need for the, you know, the ingot and then the plate. If you don't have any of those, well, maybe you have some dark steel and some meteorite silver that you can convert into dimeridium ore. And if you don't have dark steel, maybe you have dark iron ore and steel ingots that you can convert into dark steel. If you don't have the meteorite silver, maybe you have some silver dust or you have some meteorite ore. Like, don't necessarily go running off, go to farm some stuff or buying stuff from merchants when you can create the, create the components yourself. And for me personally, the biggest bottleneck I hit was the acid. And what I realized is because I never seen the item before. What I realized is that all of the centipedes you encounter through all of the treasure hunts for each piece of the Grandmaster diagrams, 
they actually, if you dismantle their mandibles, they give you acid, uh, which is needed to convert, you know, the dimeridium ore into enriched dimeridium ingots. So keep all of this in mind. Don't necessarily think you need to sell the farm in order to make this armor, which I'm sure is obvious to a lot of you. But that's what worked for me. Hopefully it works for somebody else. And I just, you know, showcased the armor here at the end of the video. Like I said, I like to quen turtle and, and use a lot of quen. So uh, I think I'm going to be running with this armor for most of the DLC. But anyways, if you guys are playing Witcher 3 Blood and Wine, I hope you are enjoying it. But most importantly, I hope you are enjoying life. And I will see you in the next Witcher 3 video. Stay sexy, everybody.